Uh, now, listen, uh, one of the most talked about videos that came out over the weekend involved a heated disagreement between uh, two fellow comedians and friends of mine uh, that I have known for years. Uh, Monique, uh, who I started out with, and Dio Hughley, who is my frat brother and mentor. Uh, it is crazy because DL is my frat brother and mentor, and uh, Monique and I have stayed at each other's house, spent the night, and and started open mic night together. Uh, we're both uh, scheduled to perform at the Fox Theater in Detroit. Now, the show took a turn when Monique came out and went off about some issues that was going on backstage, and I found the whole thing uh, really hurtful, disturbing, uh, embarrassing. Uh, here's a clip. Y'all don't understand I was ready to walk the f*** up out of here, but I said I can't let the people down of my f***ing Detroit, because the promoter's as raggedy as a m***er. See, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to break it down for you, Detroit. The mother contract said that the f*** is the headliner. She is the headliner. That's what I signed the f*** up for. I'm 30 plus years in this in business and I don't open for nobody. The contract said the headliner, but a named Dale Hughley turned into a and said, I won't perform if she does that. I won't go out if she does that. You open for the kings of comedy, I close for the queens of comedy. So when I leave this, the headliner has left. So you came to my home and you put your feet under my table. I don't get down like that. You talk about young thug and cause of their names, your name is DL. What the f does it stand for? Hey, with the wrong one. Yeah, uh, Monique been doing comedy 32 years because we started out together because I'm, I'm 32 years in. DL been doing it 37, 38 years. I uh, just want to be clear on that. Now, there's been several posts going back and forth on social media, so I wanted to try and have a fair and open discussion on what took place. So I decided to call a couple of my fellow comedians, you know, to get their perspective on the situation. Y'all, please uh, help me welcome comedians. Lou Net, one of my sister, uh, uh, Lou Ellen and I, we have a, we have a baby together. We 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 kind of messed around <laughs> a little bit uh, on the road. Uh, started out with they didn't have enough hotel rooms, so we have a a, a kid together. I think. And uh, comedian Lunell, is that true? Are you is that is that is that fair? Now see here you go putting our business on the air just like Monique. <laughs> now what are you doing? Okay, that's right. Uh, we'll we'll talk about it later. And uh, thank you. <laughs> and my and my good friend comedian Marvin Hunter. Uh, Mar what up, Marvin? Good morning. Hey man, thank y'all for joining us. Now, uh, Luell, let's start out with you. Now, what were your thoughts? You stop calling me Luell, Ricky. I said Luell. <laughs> the ends, Lu hey Luell, the ends ain't whole, coming we out. We got a whole ass, we got a whole ass baby, and you still don't know my name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey Luell, when I was putting Luell, when I was putting in that work, hey, I said it right that night, right? Look, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you was hollering to my name that night. <laughs> <laughs> Clear, All right. clear, clear, <laughs> clearly and precisely. Thank you very much. So, so what were your thoughts on the video um, of Monique on stage and what happened in Detroit? To be completely honest, as I started watching it, the the word "here we go again" came came into my mind. I, you know, I really have been pulling from Monique this whole time. And I had told everybody, I said, you know, everybody goes down, but everybody gets up and somebody's going to uh, give her a job. She's going to do something incredible and she's going to be on everybody's tongues again. And that's what I truly believed when 50 came out and said he was going to have Monique join Black Mafia family. Then Lee Daniels came with his too much, too little, too late apology only after he heard about 50 minutes with Monique then. Lee came back double back, so I thought that everything was going to be good. Personally, I couldn't care less about this funk because it seems very ego-based to me. Um, uh, you know, I have been on shows before where the order or the lineup may not have been 
I, I thought it was ridiculous because, first of all, I dare anybody to follow me, first <laughs> of all. But um, I, I have been on shows with maybe uh, what I thought was po- possibly a uh, n- not as experienced or lesser known comedian. And then, you know, if it don't affect my money, uh, I will just go out there in whatever order you put me in, smash and let you see what you can do. But what I would say with this situation seems more promoter based than it does uh, uh, your co-worker based. Why the attack on DL personally is my question, because these decisions are made by somebody other than the comedian. I doubt that DL was in. Well, I'm not following her. Well, let me go first. DL came up with paperwork that said he was headlining. But then Monique came up with paperwork that said she was headlining. So the fishy mm. work, to me, seems like it is promoter-based. Right. And that it should not have been personally based with your fellow comic, you know? These promoters can do shady things. Sometimes they messy. They might want to pit somebody against each other. And then it did. But actually, Monique's fight is not our fight. You understand? Why involve us every time you got a problem? Because, frankly, after so many problems, we just, I'm going to speak for myself. After so many issues publicly, I'm just not interested in hearing it anymore. It's sort of like the, 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 the you know, the boy who cried wolf. Um, now, she makes a lot of good points a lot of times. But right now, I'm like, I'm like, I'm over the anger, and the anger is so palpable that 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 you know, bringing us into that is like somebody watching somebody get beat across the street, and it's not really a fight. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. It, it's it's, it's uh, too much for me, and I'm not going to be involved in it. And I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not going to speak on it again, except for your show, Ricky. You know, I love you, Lunell, uh, and I really appreciate it, uh, uh, Marvin. Marvin, you here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, comedian Marvin Hunter. Uh, well, well, oh, you got do- his name right. Oh, you got his name right. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah, I had to get his name because, right, you know, Mar- Marvin punched me in the stomach one time. And, uh, you know, and I don't want to fight Marvin. He, you know, he, he was in the Navy and stuff. He got military well, background. Well, if that's what it takes, I'll punch you in the stomach next time I see you myself. <laughs> okay. Hey, Marvin. Good morning. Hey, 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 you little dear. How you doing? How you doing? I'm all right, bro. Walk me through I'm it, Marvin. Good. Hey, brother, I, you know, being a younger father, get gay, it's like watching mama and daddy fight. Like, mama, don't do not do daddy like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't throw the grease on him like that, mama. You know, it's, it's very, very unfortunate for me to, as a younger comic, to sit here and watch this. I feel like there's a time and place for everything. And that the anger, as we never say, it might be misplaced because as things are unfolding, it seems like it may be the promoter's issue. She has an issue with more the promoter than DL. And... She made it about, about black women when I think it's just it's just about ego. That's 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 about ego. Those yeah. things those yeah. tend to happen. It, it tends to happen when you have, you know, uh, two people who are on top just like, you know, I think Lunell said, uh I've been in similar situations. Definitely I'm not in that same tax bracket, but I've been in similar situations where as long as my money <laughs> right, I don't care what you put me at. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm yeah, Marvin, I you know, um, uh, coincidentally, I do a lot of shows with Bruce Bruce, and there are times where Bruce, uh, 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 uh the promoter said, Hey, man, Bruce want to, want to go first, or Hey, Bruce want to close it. Like, even on the, on the Martin tour, uh, you yeah. know, it was some nights where I was closing the show, and when we got to California, we got to LA, uh, the promoter was, uh, was like, Hey, Michael Blackson is, is, is closing because this is town. I'm like, I'm like, cool, I don't care. I will go first, second, third. Fourth, fifth, right or whatever, right. I'm gonna be funny as hell, Lunel, as long as it don't change right. my money. And then, then the question is, uh, is it worth it? Is it worth losing that relationship? Um, you, you know, uh, I'm not gonna fight with Michael Blackson and Bruce. Bruce is like my real brother. I believe, I, I literally believe that we some kin and anything with Bruce, Bruce and Lavelle Crawford. Uh, and I got a comedian that Lord. I, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I, I'll. I, I, yeah, L- L- Lavelle Crawford will roast you to death. But anything with them, whatever they want to do, whatever make any comedians comfortable or whatever, you know, uh, there's been times where I was like, I don't want to follow that because it was just too much profanity and I got a, a church act. You, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I said, let me go first and get mine out the way because it's hard to go behind 
uh, you smashing your girlfriend to how many of y'all uh, joined the church last Sunday? You know, sometimes when, <laughs> when it comes to the the, the, the technical <laughs> side, <laughs> the technical side, because like, it's, it's once once the, once you go there with the audience or whatever, you know, is is kind of down here from there. You can't bring them back up. Talk about some, doing some Kurt Franklin jokes and and remember this song right here. And when your grandmama gave you that look, that don't go behind. Uh, wolf monkey. So, uh, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. right. But now, but, see, uh, being yeah. that, you know, being that they do have the label headliner, because, you know, sometimes people try to do, oh, they co headline. They co headline. There's only one headliner, whoever's last, that's who headliner. We right. don't know whether the money did change. That might have fueled her. We don't know that. We don't know if, 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 if the money did change. And uh, we don't know if they were getting the same way. We don't know that. And then also, just like uh, you said, a promoter may come to you and say, hey, Bruce Bruce wants to go last. And that may not be Bruce Bruce's call at all. That might be the promoter saying that. So there's a lot of factors that go into this. And you can't get everything off of Instagram. We right. weren't there. We don't know. And I'm just actually not concerned hey, with this issue. Hey, uh, listen, uh, we, t- we got comedian Lou Nell and comedian Marvin Hunter on with us this morning, uh, talking about, um, you know, the thing, the situation with Monique and D.L. Hughley. Uh, Lou Nell, thank you so much for being here. Marvin, thank you for being here. Special K, you perform. Uh, what, yep. what is your take on this and the take on, uh, Monique's response on stage before D.L. came out? I'm going to bring up a side that nobody has spoken on yet, and that's the fact that she went so personal and she brought people into this conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with the show on Friday night. She brought up Tyler Perry. She brought up Oprah again. She brought up Steve Harvey. That was her with the coon with 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 the cooning word, and then she brought uh, DL's wife, wife into the situation in 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a sentence that was so vulgar and unnecessary that I don't even think you could apologize to me after saying something like that. But I agree, it was just it was and unprofessional. It, it, it was unprofessional. Yeah. It was overly emotional. It was immature, and it, it, it was issues that should have been dealt with before the show, not on the stage. You don't take everything. And put it in front of the public. You don't put dirty That's laundry right. from the family out before the public. Yeah, I don't know. You if just I don't do that. I don't know. I know. I don't know if I would have came out on stage after that because when you get the, the ladies and everybody hyped up about that situation, they're not going to receive the person that you're talking about if you're coming up right. on stage next. You know, messed up the energy of the room. Everybody knows that we all been on stage with other comedians. The one thing you don't want to do is mess up the energy of the room for the next person that has to come yeah. out after you. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Lunel, Lunel, let us let us know how we can follow you on social media real quick. Well, first of all, I'm going to need a check for the baby. You're so tardy. I got you. and, uh, <laughs> I'm going to cash app you, Lunel. Yeah, cash app me. And um and, and one more thing I wanted to say, don't forget what was that what was that cut about? Yeah, what do you think the DL stands for? Excuse right. me? If that See, had been a man, if that had been a man, there would have been physically fighting backstage behind that. Now yeah, I'm just exactly. saying, that had been two and men that would have fight. Hey, real, real, real quick on the Omega side, Monique husband is the Q's, right? DL is the Q's. You see what I'm mm. saying, bro, bro? Yeah, we the bros. You know, go. You you can't you can't allow that. <laughs> The, 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 well, why don't we? Why don't we listen? Why don't we leave Sydney out of this because we don't want to get started on that? But anyway, wow. um, you can go to my Instagram at Lunell at L U E N E L L, and just to refresh your memory, Ricky, my cash app is dollar sign Hey Lunell. Okay, <laughs> Marvin, real hey, quick, what's your? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marvin, give me my, give me yours my, right my quick. Instagram. But my Instagram is comedian Marvin H one. That's comedian Marvin H one. And brother, the way she took off running like she had the boo boo, that that tripped me out. You know what I'm saying? What was, what was that run? Run? <laughs> Hey man, Marvin, thank y'all, man.